this is the Cat5 cable to the camera and this is the power when I plug in the camera will test by itself just lower tating and tiered and zooming and this is the MVR that's back to the connections this is the power to the MVR and this blue cat5 cable just connect to the router this is the mouse and this is to the screen now the blue cat5 cable and the white cat5 cable to the camera these two cables they are both connecting to the router, the same router. And here is the router, the TP Link. This blue cable is for the camera, and this is for the MVR. And this one is for my computer. Now, after all the connection, I use the Internet Explorer here to visit the camera. And put the IP camera's address here. But you can see that uh, there is uh, this page cannot be displayed. Why does this happen? Because the camera's IP address and my computer's IP address they are not in the same segment. So I need to modify the IP camera's address. I mean the IP address and here is how now this time I use the CMS software to modify the IP camera's address no oops the CMS is running okay it is running yes and I go to here at the right of the software screen and you can see here this corner uh, I, I click system and go to the device manager and here there is a zoo list. Yeah, I add a zoom area, add area. Let's name it zero one. Yeah, uh, here it depends uh, what name you want to name it. Uh, I just uh, here I just named zero one. And okay. And here. I choose this dual area zero one and add the device. Okay, then here I search IP search. I search out the camera's address here. 
Mm-hmm. Just searching. Yeah. Here, uh, here is the IP cameras uh, default. I mean, um, all of our cameras has uh, uh, default IP address. It is uh, this one. Z uh, one dot one one zero. This one. So this time I need to. Uh, Modify the IP address. Modify to modify the, to the IP address that uh, uh, my computer uh, my computer's address and this camera's address that I need to modify. They are, must be in the same IP segment. And I choose this one to add it. It's two because my computer IP address is two here. Also here two. And modify. Or you can uh, use this one. Auto get. Auto get means the router where give the IP camera the name the IP address automatically how to get here yeah, okay try it again choose this one edit auto get then when I click auto get the router give the PDZ cameras address uh, 192.168.2.104 yeah this IP address is my IP camera it's new new IP address and auto get and okay modify modify yeah save configure to device successful yeah okay okay after the modify uh, I IP I research, I search again. Then I can get the new address, the new IP address that the router give the IP camera. So I choose it. Okay. And OK. And now, let me go here. Sorry, my hands is shaking. Sorry for this. I double check. And now, here is the camera. Now, I'm using the CMS software to see to manage my IP camera now if you have too many uh, cameras like IP cameras you can also this uh, use this software to manage them you can you, you can see here I can manage too many uh, cameras here so until now we have uh, modified the IP cameras address and we get uh, we got a new IP address of this camera so this time I can go to my Internet Explorer to visit the new IP address of this camera
and this time I input the new IP address of this camera and enter now when I enter there is a message uh, pump up a message that I need to log in the user you the username sorry uh, this is for Chinese version but it's uh, don't don't worry about this I just put admin and the password is also the same admin enter now when I first time I visit the IP cameras and uh, the, the web page will ask me to install the a software you know click here to download control after install the control refresh the page and here I can see this web page wants to run the following add-on the ActiveX control of IPC player from not available and I alone now I'm using the wipe page to visit the IP camera Uh, sorry, uh, this is for Chinese version, so I changed to English version. Here, English. Okay. And now I can control these cameras now. Like PDZ, PDZ control. This is for zoom, zooming, uh, zooming. Okay. And I zoom out. This is uh, right. Okay, this is left. Yeah, you can do many control. Now, let's uh, go to the P2P function of these cameras. Many of us uh, may want to use this camera by phone, but by the smartphone. And here goes to the setting. Here, the setting. And also go to the network. During, uh, on the network uh, web page, there is uh, uh, here uh, P2P here yes if you want to uh, use the the smartphone to remote uh, control this PDZ camera you need to download the free app from Google Play or Apple Store here this is for Android and this is for iOS now after you have download downloaded the a free app from the Google Play or Apple Store now you you will uh, use the, the free app uh, to add cameras when you add add camera you can uh, use the uh, scan to scan to scan this serious number here this is the camera the camera's uh, serious number but uh, there is one thing that is very important when you need to use the smartphone to add this camera you must uh, make this on 
not do not off. You must make it a uh, turn on. Turn on the P2P function. Do not make it off.